Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us one more time. Today, I'm here with Mark Stafford. Thank you, Mark, for joining us. Hello, everybody. And we're going to talk all about pagination. So, Mark, what is pagination? Why should I care? So Microsoft Graph has lots of data in it, right? Yeah. My email box alone is tens of thousands of email messages. And so at the one extreme, when you get a very small amount of data back, like a user's profile information, mm -hmm. you really don't need pagination. But at that other extreme, where you have tens of thousands of items, you really don't want all that information back. Mm -hmm. And so pagination helps us to break that up into small chunks. Okay. So what are some of the types of pagination that I should expect from the responses that I get back from Microsoft Graph? So we have two main types of pagination. Mm -hmm. We'll call them client-driven pagination okay. and server-driven pagination. Client-driven pagination, we touched on in a different video, but it uses top and skip and skip token, and it allows the email client or the web application or whatever it is that you're writing to choose the page size that makes sense for it. So you're calling client-driven pagination when I use query parameters to mm -hmm. modify the payload that I get back. So I was saying, right. I, go, I, I want just the use top 10 top email messages. Exactly. That's okay, right. good. So the other type of pagination uh, mm -hmm. comes in when a client doesn't specify pagination parameters. Mm -hmm. So we still don't want to send you back all those email messages at once. So the server will choose to paginate things. And in that case, it's going to put a next link directly into the payload. How should I expect the next link right there? Like, what should I? So Look typically, the, the next link is going to be right by the collection. Mm -hmm. And it's important to note that even if you're dealing with child collections, like you've got a collection within your payload, then you still can have that paginated as well. So I can have double pagination. That's with right. It. You can have many pagination links in a and single And how do response. I iterate over that? So you take that same pagination token, you mm -hmm. pass it back to Microsoft Graph, and Microsoft Graph will give you the next page of results. Okay. In this time around, because it's server-side pagination, I don't have to be keeping track of counts or tops or things That's like right. that. That's right. I just send that link That's right. and I get back the don't, next page. Don't touch the link. You just mm -hmm. pass the link back in. And if you don't get a next link back, mm -hmm. that means there's no more results. Oh, I was going to be my question. Like, how do uh, I know when I'm done? Yeah. Right? Yep. No next link means no more results. All righty. How about we see that in action? Sounds good. Okay. So here we are again in Graph Explorer, and we can see that we've fetched the me resource, and there is no next link. If I go ahead and transition to something that has a collection, so messages, then we can see the next link come back at the top of the result set. And if I were to grab that link and paste it into the bar up here, then I would get the next page worth of results. Separately, we also mentioned that you should watch for nested pagination links. So here we can see that I've fetched my drives, but I've expanded also the contents of those drives. So if I look down here for next link, I can see that there's actually a next link child down here buried inside the payload. So again, any nested collections can also be paginated. So that looks very simple, and mm -hmm. it's a very good way for me to manage large amount of data coming back and forth from mm -hmm. the service, right? Right. What else should we know about pagination? Is there anything else that you've yeah. Like to say. yeah, so the last thing that you should know is even if something is not paginated today, that doesn't mean it won't be paginated tomorrow. So you mm. should always be prepared for any collection, any array in JSON to be paginated. Maybe it's not big enough today to be paginated. Maybe we just haven't paginated it yet, but it might be paginated tomorrow. So always write your code such that a collection could be paginated. So next links are your best friends. That's right. And thank you so much for watching. Remember that we have all of the information about Microsoft Graph the functionality, SDK, samples, and more on our website, graph.microsoft.com. Thank you for watching, and happy coding. Thank you.